<laughs> I say yes, sir, to women. I do too. Because they talk to me very sternly. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking. Sometimes you gotta fucking fall in line. If she has a fucking buzz, I call her fucking sir, yes, ma'am. <laughs> sir, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Just in case, you know? Uh, and then she yeah. says, what? I say, sorry. And then she says, <laughs> It's not that camera. Oh, my bad. (laughs) What's up, everybody? Uh, Two guys, one shed. We're coming back. Episode 6060. 60. Our two-year anniversary was last week. Yeah. Last week's episode. But we're still celebrating, you know? (laughs) St. Paddy's Day. It's the St. Paddy's Day. I'm wearing green. You're wearing green. You know what I mean? I thought I was going to have to pinch you. I I thought these were shamrocks. (laughs) I pulled it out, you know, <laughs> a little was, dark in my room. Those don't look like shit. Also, I got a shamrock shirt. I'm fucking going. Good vibes. Um, but that's how it happened. Sorry for the cussing. We're, what are, what are we? Family friendly. Family friendly here. Family friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> we're trying to hop on that family friendly. Uh, uh, family friendly podcast. But uh, well, we're going to start it off big right now. We're going to do Irish car bombs. St. Paddy's Day. The St. Paddy's Day vibing. Ooh man, I haven't had one of these in a minute. And when? Since last time? This was the first half. This is my first half time out too. Ooh, 60, 59 ago? First one, number yeah, one. Yeah, first one, number one. Wow. Coming back around, huh? Coming back around. All right, here we go. All right, so what you guys want to do is uh, pour g- half the Guinness. It already looks lumpy. Why does it look lumpy already? Shut the. It's not a lump of money. It's all look, coming look, out. Look, look, look. Do you put milk in mine already? I'll do the bigger one. I'll do the bigger one. Or do you want a little bit? Um, I'll take it. Yeah, you take the bigger one. <laughs> Alright, then you're gonna get Then you're gonna get uh It's either uh Bailey's or I do Ryan's, it's like eight dollars for this bottle. So Ooh. it's the same exact thing. Irish cream. Put your Irish cream in there. Irish creamer. Irish creamer. Yeah, I grew up with a kid. That's what we called him. <laughs> Was he redhead? Nine kids by 24. Oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seven. And then Jameson. Put your Jameson in there. In the Bailey's or the Ryan's. My least favorite liquor. Jameson? Yeah. Oh, man. Jameson just... Spot I go I'll give you this night. one too. This one has the last of the Jameson. Spot I go Monday nights. I just always hear Jamo. You want a shot of Jamo? People are something like this. Oh. All right. You ready? No. Oh god, this is gonna be so good. All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh. <clears throat> Turn that urinal. Alright, so you know you have to chug it, right? Yeah. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. (laughs) I need a smelling salt after that one. Or maybe I don't. Let's go. You know what I mean? Got that mustache going on right now. Oh, that was good. Woo! These goose start bumping. Ooh. Ooh, that's what the doctor ordered right there. Oh, wow, man. Now I'm ready to podcast. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Woo! <clears throat> St. Paddy's Day. St. Paddy's Day. What's uh, what's your best St. Paddy's Day... Best St. Paddy's Day story? Uh, story? Yeah. Got any St. Paddy's Day stories? Um, I'm trying to think. Any green beer stories? Green mm-hmm. beers? No. Never really. Like went all out for St. Patty's Day. I think the last time was last year when I got fucked up for Mal. Remember, like we all went out for like Mal's birthday and we had the uh yeah the Mexican food and stuff. That was. It's always my birthday weekend. Oh, it is always your birthday yeah, weekend. Because two days after my birthday, so. It's always, I always go out for St. Paddy's Day. So I have a lot of random. You have random nights? Just a lot of green beer nights, you know? Speaking of green beer. Ooh. Those are bush. 
Pop-Ups. You got Bush Green? Yeah, I got Bush Green. Oh, let's go! Woo, woo, woo! Let's see, bro. Let's see how green it is. Do it. Green it up. Green it up. Ooh, that's a nice color. Look at that color. Oh, dang. That's wild. I think I'm allergic. <laughs> to dye? Food dye? Yeah, to green 40? Is that green 40? <laughs> the fuck out. Smells like green 40, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Some people don't like the red 40. I'm allergic to the green. Remember, I... I always, uh, on St. Patrick's Day, I always turn red because I've just been drinking uh-huh. my birthday week for so many days in a row that by St. Patty's Day, I'm just like, people are like, are you okay? Check out those green beers. That's a good color, bro. Yeah. Hopefully you can't taste the, <laughs> the just tastes like food coloring. Artificial. Well, cheers. Tastes like a Skittle. Happy St. Patty's Day. Hey. Nope. Don't even taste it. Mm. Tastes better. Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Maybe it's just after the Irish car bomb tastes better. Ooh. That car bomb hit good, dude. This is nice though. This is like dude, this like hits on the cam. We need like this to be our thumbnail. Like cheers. <laughs> oh, you got cheers? cheers? You got cheers did. on there? Hey, cheers. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man. Oh, tomorrow I gotta go um put like a... A cage, kind of like a cage, but for the elephants at the zoo. Oh, sweet. so then they're gonna train the elephant to go in and out, and then they'll, and then we'll go out and pick up. Well, they'll take it in, and then we'll pick up the whole thing with the elephant in there. And With the out. elephant in it? Yeah. Oh shit. And then we're bringing two more back to the zoo. Two more. You nervous? Elephants. No. The elephant's gonna fucking grab you. Yeah, it's gonna fuck it. <laughs> grab you tight, take you in there, <laughs> like you a little bit too much. <laughs> I hope not. But we'll see how that turns out. It's going to be pretty exciting tomorrow. So, I might so, record some videos so you can post it. So explain that again. you got to take that. So it's a cage. It's like a big-ass cage. Mm-hmm. And it has, like, bars and stuff. And then you pick it up, and then you set it into place. And then they're going to train the elephant to go in and out of it. And then when it's ready, then they'll bring the elephant in, and then we'll pick it up with a crane and then put it on a trailer. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then ship the elephant where? I have no idea. Food plant yeah. or what? They're going to chop it up? <laughs> Eat it. I wonder if is elephant good? Elephant meat. Is elephant meat good? It's a big ass cow, right? Do you think anybody's ever eaten? Or let's is there any recipes? Ooh man, I don't know. Is there any recipes for elephant meat? That's what they used to call me in college. Elephant Shut meat. the fuck up. <laughs> elephant meat. <laughs> oh, you stupid. Where is elephant meat? Hey, what's up, elephant meat? Oh no, my bad. It was elephant nose. <laughs> Can you eat? No, we added uh, food coloring. Is that a question? Yeah, so did you? Did they just add Mountain Dew? My bad, my bad. <laughs> Let me fucking... What? What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing here? What? What are you doing? My bad, my bad. I'm moving this chat up, my bad. It's fucking, you know. We need to... Uh, we're looking up uh, some elephant recipes. So, did they just add Mountain Dew? No, it's green food coloring. This right here. What are you calling me, though? You're calling me elephant meat? Shut the... F- oh, God. <laughs> Modern times today, all, spe- all species of elephant are hunted specifically for their meat. What? This occurs notably in Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, Republic of Congo, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. During ivory hunts by poachers, meat may be taken as a byproduct for eventual sale or to feed the hunting party. Ooh, one bite at a time. Let's check it out. This is kind of sad. But why? Elephants, Do you think they, the, they eat the trunk? It's like oh, an arm. A medium? I got a medium, don't I? It's like an arm. Let's go a chuck. Damn, imagine a steak from a fucking elephant. The or ribs. some ribs. Oh, God, dude. You have one side, I have the other. <laughs> oh, God. Sirloin, rump, round. Yeah, all the all the regular regular uh, cuts. The brisket comes right up front. Uh, yes, we are... Uh... Dude, that brisket means those pectorals. He's asking, uh, are we streaming the same time program you're recording from? Yeah, I think so, huh? What? We're streaming from... It's another question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Elephant meat, bro. Ooh. Come over to the barbecue. <laughs> Got some elephant meat. I said yes, sir, but maybe it's a ma'am? I don't know. If, I, if it's not ma'am, yell at me. I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say yes, sir, to women. I do, too. Because they talk to me very sternly. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking... Sometimes you gotta fucking fall in line. If she has a fucking buzz, I call her fucking sir, yes, ma'am. <laughs> sir, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you know uh, and then she yeah. says what I say sorry and then she says <laughs> she says for which one I walk away yeah you're like I try both yeah. you know what I mean I'm not, I don't know if we're friends anymore I'm just leaving <laughs> ooh elephant yo tail, what's though? up Mikey it's Mikey oh is it my cousin Mikey I think it might be cousin, my cousin Mikey These green bears hit, man. Mikey. Oh. Yeah. What were you calling me again? Elephant meat? Elephant. Shut Elephant the meat. fuck up. Do they not eat the trunk? Or what about the ears? Like, you know, like how they do, like, uh, pig ears? I mean, if you're feeding the hunting party, I feel like they're probably going for it Let all. Let me see that bag right there. What is that? Is that a bag of meat? A bag of bones. Ooh. Ooh. That's, That's like a chicharron, bro. <laughs> That's yeah, a fucking elephant chicharron, bro. <laughs> this is a big-ass pig. <laughs> Yep, same thing. Oh, the elephant. The trunk. The trunk, yeah, you eat the trunk. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> How do you eat an elephant? So in... Uh, it with the ass. You dig it, the ass. You think in Africa, it's like elephant. It's what's for dinner. Instead of beef. <laughs> I don't know if I can eat a baby elephant. Or right, an elephant at all. A baby elephant, though? That's what you eat. Chicken. Chickens are all babies. You eat pigs. Pigs are basically under a year old. Those are babies. Lamb. Um, what else? Everything we eat is under a year because that's the most tender meat. And then once it gets older, it starts getting more, you know, more worked in. And normally more fat. A higher content of fat hmm. after the older Did it gets. Know. Like chickens. Those little. I grow chickens eight weeks and they're fucking humongous. Yeah. yeah. They're five pounders, six pounders. What's the What's the average life of those of a chicken? That we eat comes soon? No, like that you're growing. My chicken's probably like seven to eight weeks, and I get it to get them to five or six pounds. Mm -hmm. So commercially, and mine are free range, they move around and stuff, yeah. so they're burning calories. Yeah. So most chickens, I'm assuming, from the producer, like, especially the young hens you find, yeah, yeah. those are like, you know, like four weeks old, maybe. That's crazy. You know? Maybe, yeah, if they're like fast growers, I'd say like four or five weeks, maybe six. Like the most of the, I say most of the chickens you get from the store are like six weeks old. Damn. It's crazy because the chickens I get, like the commercial ones, yeah, yeah, they don't grow feathers everywhere because they grow so fast. Like their chest won't have feathers, or like they won't have feathers like in certain oh, parts. Oh, really? They won't fill out all the way mm. because they're growing so fast. So like, what about your like eight chickens? They grow like. What's the lifespan? Uh, like eight to ten years. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, they, their laying span is supposed to be like two to three good years. Yeah. And yeah. then after that, it slowly declines. After yeah. five years, they basically don't lay very much. But yeah, the because they're heritage chicken. So like, you know, people have been using them. They've been in America. You know, my black and white girl, she's my Plymouth Rock. That's her. That's what she is. She's a Plymouth Rock chicken. Cause she came with them. She came with uh, Jason Pope on the Mayflower. <laughs> but Jason Pope. Jason sister. Pope the first. For real. Um. But uh, a lot of people butcher them after like two or three years because they aren't as useful. Because mm -hmm. most people are making money off their eggs, and then they turn them into like stew, like um, chicken broth, or they like feed them to the animals. Uh, it's or chicken noodle soup. It's like a lot. How big of a grill do you think you have to have for an elephant? You know what I mean? Is it like is that is that why the Flintstone steaks were so big? Because they're uh, eating like mammoth and shit. Yeah, I mean you get a you get one. You know what I'm, saying? I'm saying a rib is like. You know what I mean? Fucking imagine a rack of ribs of an elephant. It's like a <laughs> you know what I mean? A cut of beef, right? Like a, a cow. Yeah. Should last like a family of four. Like a four a year. Two adults and like two teens a, a whole year. year. Yeah, yeah. Easy. So what elephant? Five years? Dude, elephant has to last. How much year. is that? One rib lasts you all week, right? I'm trying to look up this trunk meal, but it's just Trunk meal? <laughs> look up elephant trunk recipes. Trunk recipe. I'm gonna throw Africa in there. <laughs> Derek said Hawaiian shirt, Cal. <laughs> Yo, let's go. 
Aloha. No, it's it, it, those are clovers. They're not Hawaiian. These are Hawaiian clovers. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen a fucking what? Co- who whose shirt was that? Did you ever wear that? I have a tag on it. I think still. Shut the fuck up. I, I can never it, imagine you wearing that anywhere. I found it in the closet. I might just put it on, bro. I can imagine you finding that anywhere. <clears throat> I was looking for my rad shirt. Oh yeah. And yeah, I couldn't yeah. find that it. Been fucking, oh, I couldn't find I it. I should put mine on. Go get it for me. <laughs> I need a shirt. I couldn't find my shirt. I have two of them and I couldn't find either one. I was gonna wear Kelly's, but I've been put. I put on a ten pounds since oh. I've been doing fucking open mics harder. Really? Yeah, bro. Ten pounds? Yeah, since the beginning of the year. Oh, we gotta give a shout out to Calvin too. He got a. Uh, he got three minutes Ooh, on Comedy Works. Yeah. Shout out to Calvin. Three minutes at Comedy Works. So you excited about that or what? Yeah. They said you can have as many minutes as you last in the bedroom, and I was like, <laughs> okay. let's go. I was like four, and they laughed. So I was like, all right, I'll do three. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, that's awesome. It's last time I would do my newbie set. I got two. You get an automatic pass, so now I get three. Nice. They and they invite you. You have to sign up. It's like, I had to sign up, I think it took me 14 weeks. <clears throat> oh my god. 13 or 14 weeks, because last time I was on was the end of November, Thanksgiving week. So this is going to be like open mic night then? It's new talent night, so they say don't take it like an open mic, like you need to bring your best stuff. Oh, okay. Like it's like, you bring your best stuff. Yeah. You have. Yeah, it's like a, like a talent competition. What joke are you going to use? Do you have um, one that you're just, that you've been hitting on or what? Bro, three minutes, I throw down at least six or seven jokes. Yeah, minutes. and if you just run out of time to start making fun of people or what? No, um, last time I my set ran too long and they cut me off. Oh fuck! Yeah, so what day is it? Can't let that happen. Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh yeah, yeah. fuck! You nervous? Tuesday. No. Oh, yeah, you... I'm nervous right now. That I'm talking yeah. about. It. Yeah, I wasn't nervous. Fucking. <laughs> so you put me on camera uh, and live. I was... <laughs> yeah, and live. I was gonna put this out on Wednesday. Nobody even know. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations, dude. I'm, I'm really stoked. Proud of you. I'm stoked. Thanks, bro. It's it's uh there's like other people I know going up and they're funny people so it's like it'll be a good show. Well, time again on the podcast, you know what I mean? See how really funny they are. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. But uh, comedy works is always good. Like open like bars suck. Yeah. Because everyone's like, is there. They're not there for comedy night. So, like the I'm gonna go tomorrow night. Um. Monday. Yeah, St. Patty's Day. Shout out to Irish Rover. That's where I go every Monday. Oh really? Yeah, it's been like my main thing this year. You get year. a car bomb every time? You should get a car bomb every time, bro. Whiskey sours, baby? Whiskey Let's sours. Go. I do, we made that on the Sub-Zero night. Yep, I'll get that. <coughs> yeah, and I liked it. Yeah. I've been, doing, I've been with it ever since. <laughs> um, I'll throw down like two or three whiskey sours before I go up, and then maybe one before I leave if I do bad. Sometimes a celebration one if I do really well. But that's the best open mic, I think, um, all week. It During the week or just all week? All week long. Um, oh, they have an open mic all week? It's on Mondays. It's oh, there, there's open yeah. mics all week long. Yeah, yeah, but that's the best one. Oh, like it's the best one in in Denver, I think. Yeah. Because on Monday nights you get a decent crowd. There's they have like a little a few rows up front where people actually just sit just to watch. Yeah. yeah. So you have like people there that'll watch comedy, like random people walk in, and then you have like fifty comics there at least. So it's like at least fifty comics, and then like another twenty, thirty people. So the place is pretty packed, and there's like nowhere to sit most of the time nice. when you first get there. But that one's sick. And then you go to Lion's Lair, which is like at 10.30 at night. It starts. Normally it starts like a little later. And that one's like... Like that's where you like learn how to be a comic. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, you get five minutes, but sometimes it hits and like you got a crowd there and it works. But most of the time it's comics. and So you have to try to make comics laugh. That have heard your shit, yeah. Yeah. I normally will run... That's kind of like the hard thing I think would be like to not use the same thing over and over again. But you kind of have to yeah. if it works. Yeah. Yeah, but also you need to grow your set because open mics you only get three to five minutes. Five minutes is like amazing if you yeah. get five minutes. Most places are three to four, and you just got to do what you got. Like my thing is like I had to start getting better at one liners because uh-huh. I feel like I tell good stories. Yeah. But my one liners are like, that's what you get in three minutes. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they don't like my story, and I'm, then you just got to go hit one liners. It's yeah, and if I, they don't <sighs> like my story and it's two and a half minutes, and I have three minutes like. They just don't like me. You know what I mean? Like they're just all quiet. Yeah, like a minute in, they're I'm, they're done. So it's like trying to find out ways to transition in and out of things. This is I think where I'm at right now. But like comedy works is just all one liners. I don't have enough time to tell a fucking story. So. <laughs> Plus, I get carried away telling stories and I will lose my lose my uh, check. My my uh, 
track of time. <laughs> what the fuck? Elephants do us. Look at the ingredients. Holy fuck. All right. Why are you Just, saying that? Look at, the, saying look, that? At the, look at the amount of ingredients. <laughs> what are you doing? Find someone to ship it. No. We're going to cook it. <laughs> We're going to get... Russ, that's Russ. Russ wanted us. Always wants to eat weird All right, here we go. Elephant stew. Look, watch. Look at the sizes. It says uh, one medium yeah. elephant... <laughs> Two fifty gallon containers of broth. Fifty <laughs> gallons. You know like what an oil barrel is? That's fifty five gallons. So you need two of those. Five hundred pounds of assorted fresh vegetables and chopped, and two rabbits. Optional. What are the rabbits for? Flavor? I don't know. You know what I mean? A little bit of lean meat. I wonder if it's fatty. Ooh, it has to be. It has to be fatty. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> A <laughs> hundred gallons of fucking broth. This is, <coughs> the kids should be reading this one. It's an adaptation of a recipe from a July 1968 cookbook that was published by the local newspaper. I bought it at a garage sale and was entertained for hours by the great sounding recipes and the sponsor ads as gas range. Alright, this is bullshit. Sorry for reading that. I apologize for reading that. I just skimmed it first. That was silly. Is it like, uh, would it be like sensory if we watch like them butcher it? Because it's like, it's like butchering a cow, right? I don't know, man. You know what I mean? How many? Eating elephant. Oh. Oof. Balls. First thing that popped out was <laughs> elephant balls. <laughs> Shut the f- <laughs> Eating elephant poop mushrooms. Uh. Ooh, I'd eat them. Do you think they're bigger? This is Africa. there an elephant poop? Meat from the fire. All right. Eating elephant. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Eating elephant balls. Oh, no. Have you seen this? Uh, Yeah, I, I think I have. That one's fucking rough. They just destroyed oh. it. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, God! Why was he talking at him? I'm not showing you guys that because Twitch will ban us. <laughs> God dang. These are all... Do I have to put... People, they put a man. That's rude. They showed us a picture of a guy. <laughs> elephant balls. They show us some. Yeah, the elephant tied us to the nuts. Dude, we gonna get some pictures of those or what? No. <laughs> elephant stew recipe joke. No. Elephant ear recipe. Ooh, let's see it. Let's go for it. Elephant ears. Oh, oh this is this bread. Is... I want the real elephant ears. Elephant ear. ears are crispy cinnamon sugar fried bread. <laughs> that sounds like That's fried. a bunuelo. That sounds like fried bread. Fried bread. It's fried bread. It's, what do you call it? A bunuelo. Uh, that's what my mom calls it. Yeah. Yeah. But She's always like, you want some bunuelos? I'm like, what? Oh, God, dude. That's so good. It's like, cinnamon bread, pendejo. <laughs> Ooh, dude. I introduced Bala to <clears throat> I made some toast, put some bread, and then mix some cinnamon and sugar. Ooh. Dude. Ooh. At late at night, right before bed? Oh, God, that just slaps perfectly. Dude, mom used to fucking make those tortillas, man. Oh, okay. tortillas? Yeah, the cinnamon. Fucking. And then you just put butter in there, cinnamon and sugar, and then roll it up? Ooh, no. What? That's like a little fucking cinnamon taquito, bro. Yeah, fucking, what, what did I your mom do? I'm just talking about the fucking oh, bolos, the bolos. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She used to fucking make a stack, oh, bro. Oh, God. Oh, so amazing. My grandma and them used to make them. Cinnamon and sugar. But for Christmas, so then it would be like... Uh... <laughs> It'll be like, uh, like all the tortillas be all over the place, all over the bed and everything else. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Tony. <laughs> what were you saying? But the boom ones. Oh, they'd be like all over the place. Like they have them laid out on the couches because you have to dry them out. Oh. So they'd be on the beds. They'd like lay down like sheets and lay them all on the beds, on all the beds in the house, everywhere. And then my well would make fry them up. Oh god, Ooh. dude! Just a. Mm. My mom was just frying those suckers up, fucking, real quick. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Damn. It was not take too long. <laughs> fucking smoke starts coming in the fucking kitchen mm. and shit. <clears throat> oh man, I want one now. I'm so good. Dude, dude, my mom makes the best French toast. Really? Yeah, like the French toast is so good, you don't need syrup. What? Yeah, so good. You know, I like <clears throat> she. My, you know, how my mom fucking cooks. She just makes. She thinks there's like forty of us, so she just makes a yeah. ton of food for everybody. Um, and she'd always there'd always be extra French toast. So all day I just go snack, pick one up, and just. She always be like, "What do you want for for breakfast?" French toast always, because I can snack all day. 
<clears throat> pick one up. Like little. Does she like put like a lot of sugar in there so you don't need syrup or what? Or you don't know what she does. It just no. She puts cinnamon in the egg yolk. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. she and then just the way it sits, bro. It's it just. just so, uh, she probably uses extra. I don't know. So much. <laughs> Mom, for the sugar, do you should see her make Kool-Aid? Oh, is it bad or <laughs> Just straight from the bag. There's no spoon. There's no spoon. <clears throat> heaping. Heaping pork. Heaping pork. A heaping pork. I still think the blue, K- blue Gatorade is the best. Green 40 is the best. Chris, talk about Siege. Announce how bad Angelo sucks, please. <laughs> That's all. Tony just wants us to talk shit for him. That's all he wants us to do. Tell him, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call in, Tony. You know our numbers. You coward. We're taking call-in guests today. <laughs> He's going to call. You know that, right? Oh, I'm ready for it. I own one. <clears throat> yeah, right now what's going on is Kai and Sketch going against each other on Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought it wasn't recording. Can we tune into that? Uh, I don't know if you can. You have to open up another Twitch. I don't know how it's going to work. It's on Twitch. Yo, shout out to Elizabeth Galicia. Thank you for the follow. Shout out to uh, all of our new subscribers, too, lately. Aqua Aqua Teen, 28. Matthew Wyke. Ty uh, Karowski. Mr. Hmm. We're almost at 500 on YouTube. Appreciate you all. all. What was I looking up? Uh, Twitch boy. Kai and... Kyan uh, sketch. Oh, I think it's. Back sketch. Go to Jinxie's because Jinxie has both of them. Oh my god. <laughs> it may contain. Jinxie's audience is, con- uh, is intended for certain audiences. It- Jinxie's content is intended for certain audiences. It may contain drugs, intoxication, or excessive ac- tobacco use. Is that what ours is? <laughs> if you log into ours, <laughs> it should be. If it's not, it should be. Oh, who's Jinxie playing against? Is Jinxie oh, good? Oh, yeah, he's really good. He's nice. He's beat the best computer player, one of the best computer players on. He's and he plays controller on Xbox still. Oh shit. Yeah, and these guys are on PC and stuff. Just fucking da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Surprised you're not into video games, bro. Like, bro, I just got a PS5. When did you get a PS5? I'm back in the game, baby. Bro, I had the best birthday of my life. What? Oh yeah, yeah. I Calvin turned... just had a birthday. Let's hear about it, Calvin. 33? Somebody, somebody's had a birthday! Let's go, baby! Um, best birthday of my life, bro. I work, you know, doing some work stuff. My son's home on a snow day. Ooh. We build a snow fort. Nice. Big ass snow fort. It's like four feet. Nice snow fort. Got you know, three sides. Yeah. Three sides. The only thing it didn't have was a roof. Um, then we go sledding. Ooh. Good old time. I'm building a sled. I build like a little hill on top of a hill so uh-huh. he has more fucking... Oh, you, and your yard is like perfect for like a little hill like that too. We went to the park. The park's oh all fucking hilly, shit! So. It was super slushy because everything was melting fast. Yeah, but it was it was dope. And then my mom drops by, and she got me a PS5. Your I was mom like, got you a PS5. Yeah, I was like, I felt Damn. like a little boy, bro. Fuck. I felt like a little did boy. Do you, you play some games on it yet? Yeah, we went and got a two uh, K. WWE 2K24. Oh, fuck. It's dope, dude. It's so fun. It's like UFC, but you can do cool, cool, yeah. cooler moves. So we were playing that today and yesterday, and then um, my brother came over on my birthday, too, and he fucking gave me, like, uh, he logged into his account uh-huh. and downloaded all his oh, games. Oh, game shared with you? Oh, dude, so cool. So I was been playing, I was uh, the first game I played was Spider-Man. Oh, shit. Sick. Is it? Yeah, Spider-Man's fucking sick. Because, like, the only game I play is, like, Rainbow Six Siege, and that's about it. I only have one game downloaded on my Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. It was cool though, man. I played that and then, yeah, that's I played that and I got Madden. I got Madden uh, with my PS4. That's about it. Nice. So fun, dude. I felt like a kid again. I've been wanting to play video games again. Oh, like, I've been God. like craving it. It's so f- like I stay up late, uh, like two o'clock in the morning, yeah. playing video games with I, with the boys. You know what I mean? I have zero time. Shout out to the shout out to the crew. Yeah, no, Calvin's zero editing time. Zero time or video games. sleeping. Like the worst thing I could do is start playing video games. <laughs> Like, it's the worst thing. I was just playing fucking Spider-Man on Friday night, just getting after it, and I was like, what time is it? It's super late. I was playing by myself. And then last night, too, I was... What was I doing last night? I think I was working my wrestling moves. <laughs> Trying to beat Carter or what? Yeah. Is it secretly working? Well, my player. <laughs> Do you make your own now. player or what? Uh, No. 
No. You have to, like, the more you play, the more people you get. I think I was playing before. I passed out early with him. Oh, no, last night I went out with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night before. Last night was good. We came back here, too. We came back uh, to Brighton, and then we went to the bars downtown. Ran into Zoe. Oh, shoot. Ran into one of the guys I worked with. Dang. Yeah. And then came back here, and then drank too much. Shouldn't have done that. I was hungover all day. Oh, dude. But you know what I mean? We got these St. Patty's beers to make us feel all better. Is your tongue green? PB green? Yes. Pink green? Do you, ah. do you always pee green? Mm, no. Yo, drop a comment if you like the clovers, baby. Let's go. I, I don't even know where you... It looks like a tablecloth. It looks like you're wearing a tablecloth. Oh, dude. Easy. <laughs> it does. It's oh, a nice boy. shirt. No. You look like you're a flower salesman. That's how you like show up, you know what I mean, to sell flowers. Like one of the guys in the corner with the fucking roses? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck off. Fuck off. No way. I like those guys. I got a free windshield clean by the Venezuelans. Oh, yeah. you didn't pay him? I told him no. I was like, no, I don't want it. He came by, he drove a, li- he drove a little smiley face. Uh-huh. And I was like... On your dirty ass window? <laughs> yeah. And then they just started spraying it. The next guy came and they're just... And I was like, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have cash. Yeah. And... Well, they, still, I, they I didn't have cash, but I, had, I was in my service truck. And he, was, he like pointed the hat I had on my dash. I was like, yeah, here, take the hat. Really? So there's a Valen Swilling guy running around the Winslow hat. <laughs> you get the $30 hat for that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck, you should wash your whole car. Shut the fuck up. My whole like, service truck. <laughs> He's like, I'll pull over. <laughs> get your friends. <laughs> Five minutes. No, uh, uh, the dude washed my window. I was like, I don't have cash. <laughs> He's like, no worries. He didn't say no worries. Yeah, but he's like, yeah, and you fucking clean. Just need something to do. Yeah. But uh, also, thanks, dude. That's dope. Also, I owe your friend some money. Another friend was like, "What the fuck? We did this for free, dog." The other guy's like, "He's a four fifth commish. What the hell?" <laughs> oh fuck. People like get upset about like people them washing windows. Yeah. But if they weren't there, there'd be the homeless crackheads on the corner. That like during summer they're on. Colfax in Colorado. Colorado oh, is, I don't. I don't even know how crazy summer's gonna be because they came when it was cold. Yeah, but like Colfax in Colorado. Ima- oh, imagine how the flea market's gonna be, dude. Dude, it's already crazy. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You got Venice food. It just there? opened, and I was like, "What's going on?" Like, oh, flea, flea market. Yeah. Is that the pass by to get water? Oh. I get water over there. They shut the one, but down by my house. The water miller or what? Yeah, got a good one over there. But the you know what I'm talking about the the cross section of Colfax in Colorado. Yeah. Right there. Um. By the Jewish hospital, I think. Yep. Um, uh, during summer, there's literally homeless people on every corner um, and, like, packs. Like, what do you call a group of homeless people? Like, a pack or is it like a... Um, what do you call a group of pigeons? A flock? A flock. There's a like, flock of homeless people. There's, like, a <laughs> flock on every corner. And... Uh, uh, I, unsheltered people, not homeless. They have homes. They just can't live in them. Um, a flock of the, the unsheltered. And, like, they just take turns on the corner. Yeah. And they just, like, tag out. Just boom, your turn. The next person goes. They hold the sign. Next person goes. And when they you just, get, you know. When you get down there and do a, a, a triathlon <laughs> for some money, you know what I mean? Like, 50 bucks. And whoever gets, you know what I mean? Runs the fastest 40. 40-yard 40 yeah. dash. Yeah. Who could throw the football the furthest. We've talked about this before. Bum fights. <laughs> I don't know about the fights. Bring it back. No, I don't know about bum the races. Bum races. Bum races. Bum relay races. Ooh, dude, that sounds good. Like you get your four, I'll get my four, and then we'll see <sighs> who has the best outcome. I don't know. I'm I'm around Denver a lot. A lot. Won't let me call in. Tried. What the fuck is he talking about? My phone puts the cell phone just not disturb. Was he? Know. Did he call? Maybe he called you. No, he didn't call me. Maybe try to call on Twitch. Yeah, you um, can't call on Twitch there, Tony. <laughs> um, <clears throat> was I talking about bum fights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bum races. No, but on that corner of Colfax in Colorado, there's like literally flocks during summer. And they uh-huh. just tag in and out. I mean, you'd rather have somebody at least like selling flowers or like spraying yeah, your windows yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or doing something productive. Yeah. As opposed to just just, just sitting there. I mean. I don't give a fuck. You can do just sit there and ask for money. I'll fucking give them cash. But uh, if 
I'd rather him do that than just yeah. chill. Our first call in. First caller of the day. If you're calling in, we'll, we'll uh, write me a message first. <laughs> what's up, man? What's going on? Oh, what's up, man? Oh, shit. God dang, man. Tony. Good to see you guys. That beard is nasty. What? (laughs) Tony. Hey. Hey. Chris Chris said that he thought you were wearing a COVID mask. (laughs) What the? (laughs) Oh. It looks pretty good, Tony. Like, it's not too bad, but it doesn't look like you. Let's go. Is she good? She's good? Yeah. She was gentle with me. <laughs> Hey, uh, I want to see you guys play head to head. You versus Aaron. Let's see. Let's see it right you now. You versus Aaron. Yeah. First, first to three. I know the competitiveness in both of you. I wish I could stream this under the. <laughs> you guys got a Twitch? Yeah, you guys, gotta, you guys gotta Twitch it. Go live. Aaron, look at Aaron. Aaron's pulling his pants up. He's ready to go. Oh. And now you gotta play it. Oh my god! You're so smart, Kevin. Let's go, baby! <laughs> We're watching a live ping pong match. <clears throat> Two professionals. Look at that. Boom! Get his ass, Aaron! <laughs> What's the score? What's the score? <clears throat> We need to have Tony as like our, our weekly call in. Uh, oh, who oh, farted? Oh, damn. Who farted? <laughs> <laughs> Was that real? Was that a real toot? <laughs> oh, God. Dude. Who won? You look sweaty. <laughs> I'm definitely sweaty. You know. I just want to come out here and give 110%. Where'd you guys go? Right here. What's your shirt say? Or your hat? Positive? Positive vibes only. <laughs> Positive vibes only. Let's go. I like the outfit. Why are you? <laughs> you like it? What's up? <laughs> Dude, let me get one of those shirts. Heard you got some new chickens today, Cal. Tell us on your podcast about your chickens, dude. You want to talk? Want me to talk about them? Yeah, everybody wants chickens. Chickens. I adopted two chickens today. Oh, you did? Yeah, I adopted two chickens. From where? From uh, my sister hit me up. She said that there's two chickens that were in need of a home. Facebook Marketplace or what? No, my sister hit me up. She said they were they were uh, they were using a bingo game. A bingo game? Yeah, yeah. The the poop bingo. Like it's like where the chickens poop. But they didn't. Whoever won didn't want them, and I had just lost two chickens to to a fox like less than earlier this week. Uh huh. And literally, the chickens I got look like the ones you have, dude. It's crazy. Like I swear on my life. One of them's like yellowish, like the one I lost, and then the other one's like gold, like dark gold and black. Dude, they came back to me. God was like, it wasn't your fault, and He gave me my two chickens back. Dang. For real. They're so sweet, though. I'm so I'm stoked. Sometimes in life, you foxes eat your chickens, but I'm gonna give you some new chickens. Dude, that's what that's exactly what happened. And the that's what God that's what God did to you. Says, you know what? You can't grow hair on your head, so we'll put it on your face. Why are you gonna go there? (laughs) Is that how your balls look? Is like your chin? Oh my god, I'm doing this new thing to where the beard matches the curtains. <laughs> no, but for real, it's the same as our last podcast. Exes, we were talking about exes, exes suck. You get good wives. And you, asked about, you guys said I asked about his ex. I did not make that. Who used my name? 
Oh, uh, that wasn't me, I swear. uh, yeah, you did. He said, uh, tell your crazy ex stories. It was somebody in the chat. Somebody was signed in as Tony, I swear to God. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. It might, I might have read the wrong name. Maybe I read the wrong name. Chris, I think you were trying to put Chris on blocks and didn't want to say it. I'm be honest. Uh, I'm be honest. We got a question in from uh, Tony Fernandez. Okay. Uh, I got a, it's a setup. Wait, hey, wait. sorry. You caught me. You caught me. <laughs> I need help getting into that, Tony. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was on Twitch. The first name that I saw said Fernandez Tony. Eight. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was cool. Uh... Damn, that's nice. But you guys in San, San Antonio, right? Yep. San Antonio, baby. Went to... Uh, there's a, a museum. Or not a museum. A amusement park today. That's made for special needs kids. Oh, really? Kids. And shit can get in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, Aaron got in for free because he thought they thought he was the reason we were there. Jesus Christ, Tony. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> where'd you guys go walk at? You know how inappropriate I am. Did you see good jokes? I was like, what'd you say? I'm where'd you, though. My friend has a condition. Where'd you, where'd you guys go walk at? That was it today. We went to the boardwalk. Uh, we did the river walk. For his condition today. That's cool. That's a cool one to do. Uh -huh. It was cool because everybody was wearing green because it was St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Yeah. They dye the river green. What? Do they? The whole river was green. To where it looks like this? Yeah. Oh. I know you get all wet about that. <laughs> Chris, why you got a Bud Light sign up, bro? What's going on here? They're free, you know what I mean? Dude, they sent it to us. Yeah. We're sponsored. Yikes. Yeah. We drink Buzz Light. Buzz Light. You bad buddy. You're over here drinking a Cayman Jack talking shit. <laughs> you didn't see me slowly start leaking it away. <laughs> you tried to hide the logo? <laughs> I did. I started putting my head like this. I started slow. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Tony, I think we're losing you, man. We lost ya. You got that Texas service. You oh, got yeah. what do you got? Starlink, bro? Starlink. I'm losing. No, my phone's dying. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Tony, I'm sorry. My phone died. It's not the first time. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it won't be the last. Yeah, it won't be the last. I apologize. <laughs> Call Chris if you want to come back on. <laughs> Any callers coming back on? Call Chris. Call Chris. Facebook. Chris Schaefer on Facebook. Oh my God. Chris Topher. Chris Topher. <laughs> Schaefer on Facebook. Uh, we going back to that the elephant ears? Oh, let's go back to I don't know elephant. What kind of what kind of other exotic meat is there? What's the most exotic meat? Let's go exotic African recipes. Ooh, like f frogs and shit. <sighs> no frogs. Yeah, you f eat frogs in Texas, Louisiana. Colorado. What is the most unique food in Africa? Look it. Frosted flakes. What the fuck? <laughs> Bunny chow chow. Unique foods that taste in Africa. Okay, we're going to check these out and then we'll Google it. I mean, uh, YouTube it. Jollof rice. Let's get some of this. Sounds good. Exotic meat Sweet recipes. That's what you got to put. All right, let's just go straight to the source. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean exotic, exotic meat recipes. All the fucking whores. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, I was trying to get in this shit, bro. <clears throat> exotic meat recipes. There we go. Oh, those are the mush. Oh, those are the elephant mushrooms. No. Oh, those are elephant feet. Fucking way. Are those elephant feet. Oh, what they is are, it? They are feet. What is that? F foot yam. Elephant foot yam cooking. All right, we gotta click it. Ooh, is it foot jam or foot yam? 
Alright, we're gonna go to another YouTube. For menopause. <laughs> Is it a vegetable? Hi, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to tell you one small tip about menopause. What is that? Maybe you're thinking this is a young plant. No. No, let's see. Go back to that foot. Just go back to the foot one, dude. Right. Let's go back to the foot one. Let's do it. 11 minutes of this. this no, we won't do it that long. No, he's got to squirt it. through it. Village Cooking Channel has 24 million subscribers. Jesus Christ. Mr. Beast of Africa. He's selling us fucking chocolate bars and they're fucking, they're getting elephant feet. Oh my God, look at all these ads. Ghostbusters. It's done. Tony, if you're watching again, I'm sorry. My phone died. Gotta escape this like... Oh, they are like yams. They're yams. They're called elephant yams because they look like elephant feet. Because yeah, they're, they're ginormous yams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Calvin. Nope. I don't want to see this. I want to see something crazy cooking. All right. No, no fucking yams. Scroll, scroll. Ooh, ooh, good up. Extreme bushmeat, Nigeria's bush wild meat. animal markets. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. We can't watch that, can we? We can't watch that on Twitch. <laughs> he opens it up. This is a family channel. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. So we're clicking on sweet and sour cow vagina. <laughs> Vietnam street food. Vietnam street food. I sound like I was fucking 1973. Vietnam. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is that the butthole? Cloica. <laughs> Shout out to my chickens. Are they gonna cook it? Or are we just gonna look at it, it and just touch it? This is the cow's vagina. Let's see how they cook it. Ooh. Oh, they salt, salt it. You'd think it'd be salty enough. It only takes 75 minutes to cook. <laughs> Ten hours to clean and deodorize. Oh! God. Why do we watch these things? Did, did, did they get all up in the guts? Oh, oh, he does! Oh, God! You see him lick his finger? <laughs> oh, my God, dude! The more you know. The more you know. Do cows have clitorises? I don't know. Oh, my God! All right, he's just trying to be funny. Can we see the end product now? Oh, wait, wait. We're like at 110. Oh, no, go to, go to the highest viewpoint right there. Oh, my God. Wow. Now he's skinning the vagina. Shaving. Like, I guess people eat, like, penis and balls, right? Oh, yeah, well. Have you read Rocky Mountain Oysters? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, they're so good. Way back in the day. Damn, now that's a clean vagina. I had them raw, though. Well, no wonder it tastes good. They put all these chilies and shit in is there. It, is it a street food? You know I mean, do they call it a? Uh, it's like prostitute stew. Elephant oh. pussy. Elephant pussy. <laughs> elephant pussy. <laughs> There's salad out this. No, it's not elephant. It's cow. Oh. Cow vagina. Oh. Let's see the end product. Let's see what. Imagine how like. big an elephant one would be. Oh God. <laughs> This is the flat. You, you have to cook it a flap at a time. Hang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, anything's good when it sits in stew, you know what I mean? Like, just broth for oh, all day. See, yeah, see, they're not just like eating it, you know what I mean? They're. What do you put it on? Is that star fruit. Chill? He's got star fruit, some cilantro. He says, good pussy. Thumbs up, good pussy. Better than my wife's. That pussy was fire. Wow. Interesting. 
<laughs> oh god. Let's be honest, we did not search for this video but still clicked it. <laughs> we sure did! We sure did, Sisma 13. We sure did. That's 14,000 fucking likes that comment. Zebras. Hunting and eating zebra? How do African elephants get? How big do African elephants get? Toad? Sambal? You should look up, uh, since we're looking at weird shit, uh, Cado de Rata. Oh, what? You like rats? No. Is that real? Yes, it's a real thing. It's in, uh... David Esparza? I don't know. Let's do it. Who's David Esparza? What <laughs> That is not what we want, Calvin. I was thinking Felipe Esparza, like comedian. <laughs> so maybe he had a brother. Caldo de ratas. Oh, God! <laughs> we can't even look at it. Is this a real thing? Ooh! Uh, it's it's rata. Oh, it's like it's Zacatecas or something like that. Oh, look at the head! Oh, he's eating it like it's a crawfish! Bien poquita. It's like a lot of cartilage, no? No. El ojito, a ver, el ojito, ¿qué sabe el ojito? ¡Oh, no! Chupa el ojito. ¡Oh! No, ¿verdad? No sale. no sale. Sus dientitos, ahí está. Mira los sesos. Los sesos. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Eso qué es? Pues son los dientes, compadre. Ya, mira, ya que tanto fue. Ya fue. Ya fue, ahí quedó la pura. Ahí está. La pobre no, chimera. I can't with that one. That one's a little rough for me. Yeah, like, <laughs> the cow vagina wasn't rough? Just the way he's talking about eating the teeth, dude. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, see, Zacatecas. Existe un famoso caldo llamado caldo de rata. Y es que este caldo lo usan sobre todo para quitar la resaca. ¿Te animarías a probarlo? Sígueme para más tips y contenido de viajes. Cosas raras que se comen en... That was a big ass rat. El día de hoy nos venimos a un lugar precioso del minar. All right. Uh, the no, no caldo de... Oh, look at this guy. He's... Oh, God. Have you seen the people who eat guinea pigs, too? They eat guinea pigs. I haven't know. Uh, That's like a delicacy in uh uh <laughs> We're searching. Oh my god. Caldo the guinea pig. Eating guinea pig. This is the New York Times. That's fifteen years ago. It's only a minute, let's watch it. Fuck yeah. To help reduce plastic waste in our environment, America's beverage companies are carefully designing our bottles. To be 100% recyclable. That means every bottle that's recycled can be turned into material we can use. Uh. Please help us get every bottle back. Queens. Queens. For the first time I told an old boss of mine that I went to eat a uh, guinea pig, he was fairly freaked out. Imagine oh, telling someone, imagine telling someone that. that 15 years ago. Cui. Caldo de cui. It's very popular in the Ecuadorian culture. It has such a rich flavor to it. And it brings families closer together. <laughs> you, know, you can hear the thing uh, basting in its own fat. This prepared with garlic, oil, and spices. And after we oh, experiment. Oh, God. All night we add extra seasonings from the it's restaurant. A big ass that actually pig. gives it that extra sweet and tender taste to it. Alma para conquistarte, corazón para quererte, y vida para vivirla junto a ti. Alma para conquistarte, corazón para quererte, y vida para vivirla junto a ti. I mean, you that think about it. I mean, you think about it. Yeah, we eat rabbit and stuff, you know. I mean, like, we don't, but, like, all over. yeah, I eat rabbit. I've had rabbit, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, rabbit? I've eaten rabbit before, too, but like, I don't, like, eat it. My grandpa, my little used to buy rabbits, and he'd be like, don't, don't name them. And then he's like, oh, what are you doing? You're eating lucky. He doesn't even know. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I, uh, I low-key want, like, now that I have a daughter, I hope she, like, wants rabbits and then have some, you know? She has, like, a couple that are, like, she plays with in her pets and stuff. Yeah, and Bella's been wanting a rabbit. she's not around, I get them, you know, they, they do their business and then we eat the babies. 
And Bella wants a rabbit. <clears throat> yeah. But I ain't getting no more fucking pets here. It could be at her grandpa's house. Just get house. a couple females, bro. I'll bring you a male. At her grandpa's house. I want to get the big, like the big one. Have you seen those big ones? The big rabbits? Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> the way they kill them, too, is crazy. And jackrabbits are crazy, too, dude. They like, long hairs. They, and seen? then they're like, they sit, sit like that tall, dude. Huge, like, yeah. Imagine that, though, because before, like, when, like, colonization happened and stuff and the ships came over they yeah. brought pigs they brought horses they brought cows you know so it was like did, bison what did, and what did uh so all we had here was just what bison and llama, what's native here llama what was native here llama was native? llama llamas um alpaca alpaca like south america and llama more south america no in america like north america i think we had buffalo um bunch of rabbits horses no, we didn't know horses. We didn't have horses? Wild horses. Horses came from Europe. Holy shit, bro. So it was buffalo. Um, Is that, there's no way that's it. Um, goat, the wild sh- wild sheep. Sheep. The wild sheep. Deer. Um, deer. Elk. elk. Moose. So there's quite a bit. They just weren't domesticated. Yeah. It's basically what people hunt for now, you know? But, like, there was no... We had no pigs? No pigs. That's so crazy, bro. No pigs. They said the first <clears throat> pigs were like the Spanish. I think they're called Spanish pigs, and they're uh, they're like all black, uh-huh. and they think that those just went wild because the wild pigs now kind of resemble them. Uh-huh. So they think they just went wild, and you know they didn't have fencing back then, so the pigs just go wherever. That's fucking crazy. It's, it's crazy, huh? I mean, there's tons of different um, like type of. Of deer, yeah, and I'm sure there was even more back then. And, yeah, like and, different breeds and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's antelope. Yeah, you have whitetail and whatever the fuck else you got. But it's a, uh, it is pretty crazy. But there are tons of different like rabbit, and then like in South America, like capybara and guinea uh-huh. pigs, and um, just a bunch of different small animals, mongoose and stuff. I'm sure that you know, eat everything: squirrel, raccoon. Have you had squirrel? I've never had squirrel. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Possum? Possum. A lot more like mammals. Beaver? Yeah. Beaver, right? Yeah. Capybara's like a big ass beaver. They say beavers are like fucking oily though. Like, they're like greasy. Yeah. That makes sense. Because that's how uh, ducks are. Oh, yeah. That's really oily. Duck, dude. And then some air fried duck, just like crispy skin. Ooh. You ever had it like that? Oh, my God. It's so good. I got a duck in my backyard. I'm going to go butcher it tomorrow. (laughs) Haven't you ever seen like those videos of like they're hanging like in the Chinese markets? Yeah. Like crispy duck? Yeah. That's crispy duck, dude. Oh, okay. It's so good. Um, It's like, oh, God. I went to uh, San Francisco on Chinese New Year. Uh huh. And we were like walking through um, Chinatown. And the markets and stuff. And they just had like chickens and like, oh. like there's like a stack of chicken beak yeah, and yeah. chicken feet and then like chickens hanging from the windows and ducks hanging. <clears throat> it was crazy. It was really crazy. Do you think that's like fresher? Yeah. Would you rather yeah. get it from there than the store? Yeah. I'm sure they get it like directly from a market. It's like you go to the Mexican, uh, the kind of city is or something and they mm-hmm. have like good ass ripe limes. Oh yeah, 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 and then you go here, you're like, or what avocados. Are these? Yeah, the avocados are like are like legit. Yeah, and normally they're like all green or hard. Or yeah, yeah, it might also be that they get smaller shipments. Well, that that's the same thing too. Like when you go to the flea market, yeah, you get a box of fucking strawberries when, for like uh, a dollar. When I worked at a, uh, yeah, but I think some of those people go to the warehouses, uh-huh. and then they buy. Like a bunch, a, a pallet of something, uh-huh. and they just take it to the flea markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you buy like a pallet of something, and it's, and it's cheaper. Way cheaper. You could buy a pallet of something for like 80 bucks, and then you sell your, you know, half the pallet, and you, you make that money up, yeah, or, yeah. or a quarter of the pallet. Um, but like doing, when I worked at Fresh Pack, um, I started off like as a freight person, but like getting the routes, uh-huh. but uh, just like working closely with like the procurement team and stuff who are like always getting trying to get people from basically the food comes from like mexico or california yeah so like what they would say is like you need to know somebody who knows somebody at the border who has a good relationship oh with those people and this is corporations yeah corporations saying this because if you don't have someone good either on this side of the border or the other side of the border wherever we're loading at yeah 
because some p- places we'd load on on in Mexico, and some places would load in, in California. Uh, yeah, or on Arizona or Texas, and then come up. But they're like, if you don't have a, you need to know how to speak Spanish because that's what they speak on border towns. Border yeah. towns they speak Spanish; they don't speak English. And um, you need to have a good relationship with somebody because if you have a good relationship with somebody, and he's like loading, you know, eighteen different people. And you have a good relationship, he might pull your guy to the front, load your guy up, and your guy's out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas if you don't have a relationship, your guy might be sitting there for six hours. And he might get not even get the produce. Yeah, and you're paying him. <clears throat> you know, you're paying him for that. He's just sitting there, chilling. Um, and you have to pay an extra day for that load because the load didn't come or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's it's really interesting. That's like, crazy. You have to. It's always about life's all about connections. It you is. know, and it's crazy. No matter what you work in, if you have, you make good relationships. It, it uh, it spreads, and it, I mean, if you have a good name, you know people. Yeah, yeah. People spread it and shit. People tell people that you're good at whatever you do, and yeah, they be like, "Yo, you need to talk to fucking Rico, and fucking Yuma, because that's he's the fucking motherfucker that gets your produce through." That's crazy though. That's crazy. Like even corporations have to when it, it when it actually comes down all to it, it's yeah. probably just a handful of guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when the guy was like passing it off to me, he's like, "We'll call this guy, so you know him, you have his number, and like you guys can." Damn. That's how it was. <laughs> I was like, I ain't trying to have this motherfucker call me and shit. I don't like making friends. <laughs> oh, God. It's cool, though. That was a very, like, that was an interesting job. Probably my most interesting one. Because you see, like, where food comes from. from all across, over. The, all yeah. over. Because, like, we brought food in from across the United States. From across the world. We are getting fucking seafood from, like, we're getting, like, some... It was like Norwegian salmon that uh-huh. we were getting shipped in, which Damn. is just crazy. Ooh, some seafood sounds good right now. Some oysters. That's like a long way to go for some salmon, you know? Some oysters. You got Blue Mesa. You got Blue Mesa and Gunnison. They have one of the... Oh, yeah, the best. It's like one of the biggest salmon runs in North America or something like that. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. They have a crazy amount of salmon. And now... It was crazy because my cousin lives up there, mm-hmm. and he was saying like how every year it was just getting lower and lower, uh-huh. the big lake they have, and the, for the last few years it's been at capacity or, or good. Oh, really? Yeah. Because all the snow, our snowpack's been way crazy the last yeah. two years, two or three years. What do you think about like the whole, because uh, they're talking kind of like wildlife, uh, with Ooh, them rele- releasing the wolves? Ooh, I know. What now, do you think about it? I'm waiting for them to bring back the native people. <laughs> It's like they brought the wolves back. How about the natives? <laughs> he is stupid. It's like let them off the reservation. Give them the you know the freedom. That's the weirdest thing. Does for it, me. They just have to have collars so they could track yeah. them or what? Yeah, that's the weirdest thing for me. Going to like a national park. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, uh, it's like pre- supposed to be pristine wildlife, like how it was preserved, how it was you know 500 years ago. And I'm like, uh, not really. <laughs> Don't see anybody like me walking around. He's stupid. I'm the only person that looks like me here. Shit, the fuck? Bunch of blonde people and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Is it pristine nature? Invasive species. <laughs> you stupid. I'm saying, you know. Oh. That's my favorite thing about Colorado is driving up to somebody and their their sticker says native. Yeah. And you drive by and it's just a white dude in a Subaru. You're not native. I do like that though because people will be like, where are you from? And I'm like, oh... Like, uh, I'm from Texas. My family's, you know, mm-hmm. like, no, where's your family from? And I'm like, Texas. My family's from Texas. Like, no, like, you know, where'd they come from? <laughs> I'm like, just say it, motherfucker. What, yeah, what nationality? Am I Mexican? Or what the fuck are you asking? But I'm like, uh, Texas. Like, I don't know. Like, you're like Chicano then. Yeah, like, uh, Comanche, um, Apache, you know? Like, yeah, they've yeah. just been there. They never left. That's like the border crossed you type thing, you know? Mm hmm. But, uh, about the wolves. Yeah, wolves. The wolves. Um, I don't know. I know a lot of farmers are against it, obviously, right? Because they could kill their cattle. Yeah. And there has to be something that, if they're not allowed to kill the wolves, there has to be something that, you know, they get repayment. But I, I worked with the, uh, I put some switch gear into the, the National Wildlife, whatever, like the, comp- the not the company, but... Like, the people who, like, the rangers. Parks and service? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. like, I went and put some switch gear, and I was asking them about it. And they were saying, like, yeah, they they, they can they only pay up to, like, $3,000 a cow if a wolf kills it. That's crazy. So, if it's a pristine bull, like, you know what I mean? Bull, there's no, you can't put a price. 
Well, not even a sperm. You know what I mean? The sperm, like a bull riding bull. Yeah. Well, not even a bull. Like, like some little family that has a homestead cow. Yeah. And that cow's three, and it's been given a milk. It just started giving a milk. It just had its first. Maybe it's on its second. It's it's pregnant with the second calf, and that you lose that. I mean, yeah, you, you lose, lose two, that cow you for lose two cows in. If yeah, it's pregnant. And, that, and that would be good for twelve years. You know, how many more cows would that have produced, and yeah, how much yeah. more milk would that have given them? You know, people who live on like small farms and stuff, it's like they get new animals every year, every few years. Yeah. If you get if you have a good cow, they keep that cow until the cow's not good anymore. Yeah. You know, maybe have a backup, but you keep it as long as you can. Which I understand the the problem with that, but also, like wolves were here before we were. Yeah. You know, it's like, I believe in like. But I they believe, said that they did so then they get uh, strengthen like the elk because we have the highest elk population of in the yeah, United States. Like balance it out. Yeah, no, but like to make the bigger even bigger. Yeah. Because the only the the biggest will prosper. You know what I mean? Will survive. Top, yeah. You get rid of all the unhealthy and and weak genetics. Yep. And that's what that's what the wolves do. Oh, I hear a lot of problem though is like wolves, just like uh, they I don't know I can't even think of what it's called, but the problem with wolves is they kill like uh, they just kill everything, like they'll kill a whole pack of elk if they and then, can, and then just not even eat it. Yeah, and just leave it there. Yeah. But the thing about that is, that somebody's gonna eat it, whether a be- a bear comes and picks it up or a or a elk that's like or a, a wolf that's not in the pack yeah or a coyote or a fox or you know something's gonna eat it or it just rots into the ground the nutrients the the bugs something gets it you know uh. so <clears throat> to me it's it's like yeah like like i want the people be able to hunt and, and get what they want but also like there's a balance to nature you know yeah if you don't balance nature nature balances itself and it's it's in I think if we're going to do things like that as people, like we have to keep in mind of like us doing our, our best part, to being a part of nature, yeah, taking care of nature and taking care of it in a good way, you yeah. know, all the, like not letting the elk get like all sloppy and have like fat ass elk or, or deer or something yeah, where yeah. the population gets the genetics get like super sloppy, but also like not doing it to where we're jeopardizing people's family and their meals yeah, and yeah. stuff, you know? It'd be cool if, like, you lost your cow, they just give you a new one. You know, a new pregnant cow, but. Yeah. That's how it should be. It should be, like, even trade or something like that. Yeah, and I think if it's on your property, you should be able to shoot it. Because, yeah, but if you, they're all collared, so if you shoot it, then that's, like, a federal offense. Yeah, I know, but that's that should be, you should be able to, because you have to protect your, yeah. your flock and, you know. Yeah. And I think maybe eventually when the wolf population is strong enough, then you can. You yeah, know, yeah, it wouldn't be as big of a deal as like a coyote. But I mean, wolves <clears throat> have been, wolves and coyotes have been, and foxes, have been uh, persecuted for the past, you know, since people got here. Yeah. You know, even before that, probably. I mean, I'm sure you don't want. Would you kill that fox that killed your? Chickens? Nah. I wish he would have took it. I wish he have took one and just. Well, he just it. killed it and then just he walked. he killed two and I think he got spooked and bounced. Uh-huh. He ripped their necks off like just clean. It's like the way I cut their neck. Yeah. I couldn't clean it. I couldn't cut. I couldn't cut it that clean. The, the fox did that. The fox was way more clean than the just way like, I he just it. chomped it. Uh, it's, my mother-in-law said it sounded like he was like like Whipping it was like it. thrashing it back and forth. Uh. Uh-huh. I don't know if he's doing some gator rolls down there with it. Oh, what doing, dude. But he was like thrashing it, but it was like clean. Like it looked like. It looked like someone had a butcher knife and just... Really? Yeah. That's crazy. And you have to think it's alive, so it's like, it's hot, like it's warm, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like it's... When you went out there, was it still was it still warm or were they like dead, dead? No, it was dead because it was the next morning. I didn't know. I didn't find out until the next morning. Oh, shit. Yeah. But uh, it the heads were clean off. It was crazy. But it's like, I don't want to... Like, yeah, obviously, if it's killing all my fucking chickens, I'm going to kill it. But yeah. obviously, it's my job, too, to keep them safe. Yeah. You know? It's my job as, the like, the shepherd to keep the wolf out of the fucking, you know, away from my sheep. Did you uh, did you see that video I sent you? When they used the, the, a toilet uh, floater for water, they put it in a bucket, so then every time it goes low, it'll fill back up by itself. Like, there's no electricity or nothing like that. You just, you could just gravity feed it. I have, um, so I have my, my water for my chickens is yeah. on a, it's on a, like a big ass trash can. Yeah. Like a 50 gallon or whatever. 
and then I have a pipe through it, and then it's the pipe goes onto a uh, the pipe, it's like half inch, and then it goes into a three inch PVC. It's like uh-huh. maybe three by three feet, and three inch by like three feet. And I cut like the top out of it, and I put the float in the end. Oh yeah. So it goes with the, it just like you know, it just it, it just fills up until till the float hits. Uh-huh. Uh But I fucked up my seal, so it leaks like a shit ton. Oh. So I have to fi- I have to fix it. Let's get some silicone or something. But I wanna, what I wanna do is put it on a pump. On one side, so then the pump, the water runs through. So the water is just like continuous going through, and then it'll go up through the rain gutter and then drop back into the uh-huh. the rain catch system. And then it'll just pump it back through. I have a pump, but I just need to set it up. I need a little more pipe. You just gotta get a pump and a car battery and a, and a solar, solar panel. Yeah. So then you just charge the battery at all times. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. I have a little river in my backyard right now. It's like, uh, so I have like a little kind of mini pond where I like give the ducks water and stuff uh-huh. and let them fuck and do their thing, you know, whatever they got to do. <laughs> no, I don't have any males, but the goose, the way she treats the ducks, bro, is like, wow. Really? Yeah. She like does them, does them dirty. She like gets them in the water. She The goose, she's like 20 pounds, gets on top of my five pound duck on her back. The duck's like, rah, 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 all flat. She's like pecking at her fucking and thrust in her. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> a couple, you know, they're uh, a couple lesbian ducks. A couple lesbian, lesbian ducks. And a lesbian goose. It's crazy, man. Well, if there's no, if there's no males in the flock, the females assume like a, a more masculine yeah, yeah, yeah. role. The, the females become more masculine and authoritative. That's what happened in Boulder. <clears throat> in Boulder. You dumb, dude. It is. Um, but uh, she beats him up, dude. Really? Yeah. But there's like a little pond there. It's behind my chicken coop, and the water that overflows there goes down next to my chicken coop under like where my my water is, uh-huh. and then it's like a little river because my my backyard's like on a hill, so it goes down the hill into like the by the back fence. It's like a little pond. Oh, nice. For my chicken for my ducks. It it's wild, dude. You see the goose out there fucking cleaning herself and shit. She's it's interesting i want swans <laughs> swans yeah, yeah i think swans would be cool Have a couple get swans. out of my f- stop looking at me swan stop looking at me swan why are you looking at me swan oh man that's a good movie um yeah i'm excited for the summer do up the backyard and stuff yeah if i have any time we'll see how it goes yeah that's what i'm gonna do too i got some pallets at the shop and then we'll put them all right in front, make like a deck. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. Out of pallets? Yeah. But that'd it's like, dope. they're all, they're all, they're actually two by fours. It's heavy as fucking pallets. And they're all like close together. So it's like a deck and it's got to screw them together and then just level it out right there. That'd be cool. And I'm going to do the rainwater collecting thing too. I have that big, you saw that big ass container. Got. Yeah. Do that too. And then run a pump so I can run my sprinklers. And my garden and everything else, too. We should uh, send people decks. Just build them out of pallets. Oh, yeah. And then you just bolt them together? Yeah. Or to where they like, fall into each other? To where it's like a block? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like so a dog bone? It's each. like a dog bone? Yeah. And then it just walks in? Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a business right there. Shout Wait. out. Uh, what do you think about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? They're going to wear headgear and shit. They are? Yeah. Oh, God. And 18-ounce gloves. Is it 18 ounce? Is it 16? 16 is an ounce. 16 is a pound, I mean. 16 is a pound, yeah. Um, um, Tyson, Paul, fight rules explained. No headgear using... Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's 57. Jesus 57 year old Tyson. Bro. 27. Paul's 27. Over twice his age. 30 year difference. Paul's not even 30. That's fucking crazy, dude. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Do you think if Jake Paul wins, it's like rigged, do you think? No. 
Because I don't think Tyson would do that. You, I know you say that, but... Do you see his video? Oh, God, dude. Let's watch that. Training video. Mike Tyson is bringing pain for Jake Paul. Can Iron Mike roll back the years one more time at the age of 57? God damn, dude. Mike Tyson is bringing pain for Jake Paul. Dude, he looks like my cousin Mike. That's crazy. This is the best defense in boxing. My cousin Mike looks like fucking Mike Tyson. Dude. Seriously? That's where I live. That's why I give him a podcast. Oh, uh, man. Where's the one where he talk, calls out fucking... Oh, here we go. This is like day three or something like that. Day two. I'm getting ready for you. No, go to day three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's 57. He knocked the mid off that motherfucker. He scared the mid off. And it's like, I don't want to get hit no more. Day two. Day three, let's go. Right there, that's the one right there. This one he looks mad, huh? Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, those look fucking mean. Dude, that one in the Day stomach? Three. You still want to fuck with me? Day two, he's like, I'm chilling. Day two, day three, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you. We just see some highlights. Dude, Mike Carter, Tyson. Carter jumped on me. Uh -huh. Like we were wrestling, he like jumped on me with both of his knees oh. into my ribs. Pretty sure he broke my little rib right here, dude. I've been laughing for a week. I, I keep fucking. It hurts right still. Mike Tyson throw me one of those little short oh, hooks, dude. Yeah. Oh man, my to my liver right here. I need a transplant. What do you want me to do? Mike Tyson highlights, bro. Knockouts? Yeah, I gotta do knockouts. Top Dude, imagine 20. how crazy the name Mike was. Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. <laughs> right there in that era. Michael Irvin. Dang. Uh, try to go any other ones. Right there, 10. Or what's out? How long's out? 11 minutes. Right here, four minutes, baby. I was gonna rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and efficient and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Legs is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody like me. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nashville. There's no one like Plus, this background music, too. I'm getting nervous. With hair, too? Praise be to Allah. It's crazy because even then they ask him like a good intellectual question and he'll answer it like yeah, a smart person. Yeah. But just nobody thought that of him. Who was thought he was just like... It's crazy because like growing up they made him out to like seem dumb because yeah. he couldn't... Because he had a lisp and like yeah. the way he talked. Oh my God. Look at that dude. His whole body folded. Oh, God! Oh, my God! Look how big that guy is, too. Sixth round. Bang! Oh, that was a liver shot, dude. That guy didn't want to get up. Look at this. Look at the liver shot. Look. Bang! Ooh, oh, God! Oh, dude, I felt that one. God damn. Oh my, look at his neck snapback. And he was already retreating. Oh, that's rude. Look at that head movement. God damn. He's even got his hands up. Another the uppercut. One. The uppercuts was. 
Oh, oh God. He bounced back. Because he, like, gets down, and then he fucking just gives all of his... He uses his legs and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that head movement. God dang. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh god, dude. Oh my goodness. Jesus. He fell forward. He got hit and fell forward. Ooh. Oh. Oh god, dude. Oh, oh, dude! Like the the worst part about boxing is people taking those hits over and over and over again. That's why people don't die in UFC, or it's very rare in MMA. Jesus Christ, bro! The power he possesses. Look at oh that! My oh my God! That's a torn ACL, dude. That guy's, guy's like, just uh, trying to survive. He doesn't look big enough to go against Tyson. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that dude. In most of these, Tyson looks like a smaller guy. Almost all of them, doesn't he? Oh! Like he's ripped, but most of the other guys are bigger. Jesus than him. Christ, bro. How many times did he hit? Oh, him? he hit his mouthpiece out and everything. Round one. Hey, he was knocking dudes out of 16, right? Grown ass men. Oh my god. He has a story of someone's like the first fight he got into. Um, the kid went and got his dad and he beat the dad's dad dude. the dad's ass too. <laughs> oh my god. The dude's like, How old were you? Like, you know, like 16, 17? He's like, I was 12. Imagine being 12 in middle school. You're in seventh grade, and someone's dad's like, "Hey, you fucking hit my kid!" He's boo! That's what Kevin Hart talks about, like him fucking him running away when his kid like, "Hey, I don't, I don't want to fucking, I'm not, I'm not uh, talking to that guy." I saw him how he hit you. Oh fuck! You got another Irish carbomb in you? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck, Calvin's ready. This close, is close out with a firebomb. With the carbomb? Yeah, yeah. Sorry if we've been neglecting questions in here. Nah, we're good. We got up to a five piece. Five piece what? Um, viewership. Fishy fingers followed us. Oh, that's a uh, Ruger. Chris, talk about the siege and else. How about Angelo's house, please? <laughs> See, don't you just fucking? Do you like Derek? Do you like like Derek? What does that mean? I don't know. Do you like like him? Like him? Like have a crush? <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, oh we. I give my chicken spoiled milk. Spoiled milk? Yeah. I heard uh, yogurt too, and it helps them uh, lay lay more. My ladies are some layers, bro. Really? Yeah. Well, now I got. 10 less eggs a week because I lost those two chickens. Oh, fuck. How many eggs do, do you guys eat all those eggs or what are you doing? Stockpiling them? Yeah, yeah. What? Or freezing them? Yeah, no, no. We uh, we pickle them. We prep, Shut we're the preppers fuck up. now. Shut no, I'm just kidding. Up, dude, I, know I guess, love pickled eggs. Calvin. Sorry. I love pickled eggs. I was just excited. I've never, I've never had one. I oh, try it. my God. You need to bring some over and we'll make some. I give them to Oh, we should do it on here? Yeah, make pickles some. Mixed. I do it. Uh, I give my grandma eggs, my mom eggs, and my sister eggs. I get my brother eggs. I told him I might start, but I don't think I've given him any. My sister's like, I need more. I eat like two eggs a day. I'm like, oh my fuck? god. Mal's like that too. She can eat. I can eat boiled eggs like like oh, no other dude. The I can farts, man. God damn. Dude, I love boiled eggs. Though. Eggs and beans. Woo! Eggs and beans. Oh, in the morning. Yeah. Eggs and uh, green chili. Oh yeah, that fucking slaps, boy. That's 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 the best breakfast right there. Or uh, some leftover green chili and some eggs. Uh. I just like me a fucking sunny side up egg, dude. Sunny side up? Yeah. I like uh, mine are over medium. 
over medium. Yeah, I don't like the yolk that much, so I like it like, you know, get nice and thick. And then I mix it. If I have I have eggs, I have to mix it with something. Ooh, Do you know there's like, like a little ball in there? Boy? Yeah, I've heard that. I've I found that out. I think. Yep. Yeah. It has like nitrogen or something like that. So when you open it, that's what happens. I thought it was boba. <laughs> Just a big ass piece of boba in there. <laughs> uh, today I had boba from the coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Not Duncan. Dutch Fast Brothers? One. Dutch Bros. Yeah. Um, Never been. I got a coffee. It, my, my son got like a vanilla coffee. It was like, we didn't know it was coffee. Coffee? So yeah. But it was, we found out it was coffee, so I had to switch him. And the little boba inside was um, like little coffee balls. Like coffee oh, inside the really? boba. Yeah, so it's like extra coffee. So like you bite it into like, like extra coffee. Like strong coffee. Yeah, yeah. Like strong like cold. Espresso, espresso. Like strong iced coffee. Yeah, I, it was, I wasn't about it. I drank the whole thing though. I was like, I love boba. I love boba I too. Love, I love boba too. Some taro? You get taro? Taro root? Taro root? No. Yeah, you gotta try taro, bro. Purple? Delicious. Uh, Melissa gets uh, at the full place here in Brighton. They have this almond. It's called uh, it's almond boba. Oh, Ooh. dude. It's so fucking good. Tastes like pistachio ice cream. Ooh. Can I get the brown sugar milk drink? And uh, what's another good one? The one about the Vietnamese restaurant by my house does a... Vietnamese. Did I say it wrong again? <laughs> Vietnamese? There you go. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. The Vietnamese restaurant by my house does a guava boba. Do you like pho? So Do you like pho? Tried it once oh. and I wasn't about it. I need to try it again. I need to try it again. But did you put like the shit in it? Or you just tried it just like this straight up? I you didn't I put no like, sriracha, no hoisin sauce, no lime, none of that. A little no. bit of sugar. Lime, no sugar. Lime for sure. No yeah. hoister rice. Hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce and no. What's the one sriracha. No sriracha. I gotta, I gotta make it for you because it's fucking. And we also get these. Uh, the, the Vietnamese place by my house by. Uh, it's not by Three Margaritas. It's by Safeway. Uh huh. So good, dude. Did you gotta get the egg rolls there too? And then they serve like the the Vietnamese egg rolls, and then like they a have. Roll? No, no, it's a Vietnamese fried egg roll. And then they serve you with like noodles on the side, and you dip it in fish sauce. Oh god! But like you get lettuce, they give you lettuce with it. So yeah. like you rip some lettuce off. Yeah. And then you put your noodles down, yeah. and then put the roll in there, roll it all up, and oh god, busting. I don't like new things. I'm being honest. <laughs> I do not like new things. <laughs> I don't like change. I'm always down it. I'm always. Down to I'm try down it. to try it, but not on my own. Like, I'll try it. If you're there, you're like, yo, this is bussin', yeah, try yeah, it. Yeah, but you're not going to just order it on your own. All and, day. Uh, if you're like, yo, you got to order this, I'd be like, no, nah, give me some combo chow mein and... <laughs> what's your what's your Chinese spot to go to then? I go to the Vietnamese place. They have good Chinese food they're, or what? Their fucking combo chow, chow mein is amazing. Oh, I, I no, but I go to Heaven Dragon if I got to go oh, to the dude, that's 120th. The best one. That's the best one. Let's go. Turn Mute your mic. Chris is muting his mic, hopefully, so I don't have to cut this because there's pee. But if he doesn't, I got my hands up, singing my song. I'm uh, I just put I put my hands up so I know what to edit. Hopefully, we have some clips on Twitch. That's the goal here. But uh, we'll see how it goes. What do we we got, need to get some uh, clips. Not bad. We need to get some clips off of uh, the last episode. Like, oh, there was a lot of funny shit. Yeah, a lot of... With the hockey one, too. We started off with some drama on the first one, the last episode, and then everything went funny with the the smelling salts and the rate, rate eating slab. salts. Oh, God. That was the funniest part. She's up. <laughs> like, fucking three minutes in. Oh, God. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go pee. Who's our only viewer? Probably my mom. No, probably my root my Ruger. <laughs> oh, God.
Okay, I said a joke in the beginning. I can't remember what it was. Oh man, it's so cold. Let's put the heater on. It's not that cold. It's so cold. Yeah, All let's right. do this real quick and then I'll throw the heater on. All right. Hi. Oh, Ooh, dude, how do you keep popping yourself like that, oh, dude? My grandma told me that she has osteo, osteo, not osteoporosis, osteoporosis, something, and I think I got it too. God. You're red. There you go. Am I blue now? Yeah, you're blue. Oh, it, it worked. Ah. Alright, I'm ready. Alright. Close out. St. Patty's Day. Episode 60. It's kind of crazy we're at episode 60, bro. We've been knocking them out, too. Hopefully get some more guests on. Uh, what if that hair's on there the whole podcast? Probably. Right in the front. Yeah, I'll get some. I'll get some comics on. I've been trying to make friends. Calvin hates doing that. I know that. Yeah, yeah but I, you know, good people. You know, I, you know, I meet good people, and it's it's always good when I like share about the podcast and stuff. People are always into it. Yeah. Like I did today, some dude at uh, Dutch Bros. He was like all into it. That's the thing. I never, stuff, so. I never, I never share that I have a podcast. Like, yeah, I don't unless they're like, hey, what are you doing today? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing this. Then, and you, then, then you say, I'm like, I'm gonna squeeze it in. And I'm going to, you know, do a podcast later. Like, oh, that's dope. What is it? You on YouTube? Do you tell them? Do you guys yeah, yeah. I said uh, YouTube, Spotify. We're like 20 episodes behind, but Spotify. Kind of... Spotify is like on episode 42 or some shit. I don't know. All right, Cal. Let's close it out. Thank you for all everybody too watching live on Twitch. You Thanks know, for me and Calvin have been doing this. Even though we got the blurs, blurs going. We like to, uh, the what? It's like the camera's a little shaky, you know? It's not the cleanest. Oh. Uh, we might send out some uh, merch to some streamers, you know what I mean? To see if uh, they kind of inspired us to stream, so, you know what I mean? Now we're streaming. I'm surprised what's his name never got on. Uh, Gamers World? Hmm. Yeah, we gotta hit him up. All right, here we go. <laughs> car bomb. All right, car bomb to close it out. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to 60 episodes. <laughs> we'll celebrate again at 61. <laughs> it's a celebration, bitches. One, two, three. Oh no. Ah. I can hear you just forcing that down. It's not that bad, though. I'm going to drink tomorrow, and then I'm going to drink again on Tuesday. It's going to be four days in a row. Well, my liver's going to be just fucking... It's not that bad, Kevin. I put my liver through way more shit. From Wicked's Whiskey Sours? Yeah, but my, my kidney's already bad from marijuana. You get bad kidneys from marijuana? Nah, but... Afterwards, I like to pound energy drinks. Just kidding. Really? No, I'm just kidding. I love energy drinks. Go fast. I do like to smoke like a joint and then drink a coffee. And I'm just like, whoa! I'm just zooming, you're just, baby. It's like, whoa! You go, what it's you like doing? nicotine. What are you doing? Like uh, sativa? Yeah. We're sativa, indica. like you couldn't believe it, bro. <laughs> no, I can't smoke in the cow in the cu in the couch. <clears throat> I'll be out all week. Coffee? Do you like your coffee like those... black or what? No, it's not really coffee. It's a uh, dirty chai. Ooh, that's my favorite. Yeah. Since that night, that day. Yeah. That's what I do. That's all I drink too. Yeah, chai tea latte with two shots of espresso. Two shots of espresso. <laughs> yeah, Let's that's go. So good. I gotta get the grandes now though, cause I used to get the ventis, mm -hmm. and those squirts would come quick, bro. <laughs> Fuck, too much fucking chai. One time I did three, Ooh. three shots of espresso, dude. I was fucking wired. <sighs> but I try to hit like that. You know, if I get that little, little state, sweet spot. Yeah, in the morning, try before work. I'll just get on the computer, start, start writing, knocking it out, start writing jokes. Oh, really? Yeah, Damn, yeah. Try grinding. To get in the zone. Grinding, huh? Yeah, I haven't been doing a good job lately. I, I'm good at like if something comes, I'll write it down most of the time. Yeah, I'll forget some every once in a while, like the joke at the beginning of the podcast. But uh, I try to like force myself in the morning for at least like five or ten minutes to write about. Write like a joke. Something. Or just a story. Yeah. A story that's happened before, and I just write it out so it's like, you know, and then I figure out what the where the funny parts are and stuff. Because when you start writing something, you're like, 
oh, I've written three sentences and there's no punchlines. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just written. Like it's taking forever. It's taking forever to get to the joke. But well, that's what, like how some comics say like you have to lie a little bit. You know what I mean? You, no one's ever gonna know the stories. <laughs> yeah, people like bend bend their stories a little bit. Yeah. My thing is more like sometimes you have to combine like multiple stories and tell it as one because yeah. if you tell it like over three stories, it's not as funny. But if you tell it all as like one thing that happened, yeah, yeah. it's more funny. So you're not really like you're embellishing a little bit, but it's not like you're lying about what happened. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't really think I embellish like a whole lot. Like there's some that are obviously just fucking silly. You know? Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, it's a fairly simple thing. Like the joke I'm gonna tell on Tuesday. Um, this I don't know when this will come out, so no one will see it. Um, but the joke I tell about. Um, and to the end of the podcast. Yeah, I was. You know, we got one viewer. <laughs> Like, the joke I tell, um, I'm going to open with it, is, uh, I've told it here before, but, like, uh, I was the woman the other night, she yeah. said if I didn't leave a mark on her, I wasn't doing my job. Yeah. That's from the podcast with fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. uh, Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, But, and we, we weren't, I wasn't doing anything with her, but she no. did say that, and yeah. I did say that too. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I didn't give her a, I didn't fucking, uh, punch her, but, you know, that's basically, it, that's where it came from, that's where the joke came from. So it's like it's a little bit of embellishment, but like not really because that's it happened, you know. What yeah, I mean? the two for flinching. Yeah, I gave her two for flinching. That's I good. I don't think I hit her, but and now on that tag I have a. We'll see how it goes on Tuesday. I haven't. I've just been working on this for like the past like two fucking mics. Uh. But it's about uh. She also said she was in the knife play. She's not even Latina. Uh, normally they're knife serious, but we'll see how we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I need to, I need to twink I need to tinker it a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. I need another tag on that joke though, you know, like it's too short. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then my next joke is about me speaking Spanish, so I need it's like you my need something to in, in between those. Yeah, like a transitioner. Because a lot of my jokes are one-liners now, so it's like I got to find a way to combine them. And then that's kind of like that's that's like the one-liners, but they're all in sequence, and you just keep going, bam, yeah. bam, bam. And so my thing is, like, if I have three minutes of these one-liners that I can do, right, then I put it out, Someone, I go somewhere and do six or seven minutes, then in between those one-liners, I have the stories or whatever I need to plug, you know? And then I have, like, it's it sequences, it works. But I've been trying a lot of new shit. Some of it works. Some of it doesn't sometimes, but just trying to build up my time. I think I got, like, good 15 good you minutes. You do a... Uh... <laughs> You could do, like, uh, if you said that she's Mexican, like, role play, and you're the border patrol. <laughs> Dude, I have a joke. <laughs> I have a joke that I've had for a while that I haven't told. But it's about, like, uh, me and Carter playing cops and robbers. And uh, he, he he likes to be the border patrol or something. And he catches me. He's like, get on the fucking, get on the ground, you fucking Mexican. <laughs> that's, what he tell, that's what he tells me. And then he leaves me there without any water. <laughs> Just leaves me there to pours start. it out, pours yeah. out the water, pours out my water, and leaves, <laughs> leaves me handcuffed, <laughs> and then throws barbed wire on me. <laughs> hey, uh, I watched uh, Fun with Dick and Jane. Oh, dude, that's that a classic. is so fucking dude, funny, dude. When he, when he gets deported, when he gets deported, you don't remember that part? He's trying to find work, and he goes out with the Mexicans, and, it's, oh, he gets parts, he, and he's and he's lost his he wallet. Have his shit. <laughs> It's, dude, it's so funny. Oh, God. That's so... Whoever comes up with that is fucking... Dude, that's where everyone's like, oh, Jim Carrey's washed. And then uh, he came out with that bad boy. Oh. Like, Damn. Anchorman. Dude, that one was good. And then that one? Anchorman. Not Anchorman. What's the one? The news. God. Bruce Almighty. Oh, uh, Bruce Almighty. Dude, that, have, that was a good movie, too. Have you seen the uh, trailer for the new Johnny Vox film movie? The new Johnny Knoxville? Yeah. Oh, I think I kind of did. What is it about? It's with Bobby Lee. Oh, they're like addicts or something like that, right? They yeah, play it's baseball. Like rehab in the early 90s or some shit. I think it's just a sequel to uh, this, The Ringer. Mm. Shut the fuck up. I mean, Bobby the Lee. Ringer? And- the Ringer? Classic movie, dude. That fucking movie is so fucking When the cool. fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> and that was an improv line? Yes, That's exactly. a fucking... Exactly, like... Then that's the same guy from uh from uh Super Troopers. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Oh shit. That's the same guy. Oh, I did not know that. I'll have to Google. No, I'm right. I know that for a fact. 
You don't have to do nothing. You ready? Yeah. Oh, Theo Vaughn's in here too? In a rehab movie? Come on. Perfect. <laughs> 1993. It can be. He had Crocs. That's a mess up there. Crocs are 03. Bobby Lee's so funny too. Like that line makes me feel like they're being true to the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels like Theo. Giant Knoxville is a silver fox, bro. Like the with this guy. Dude, Bobby crazy? Lee looks like he's 35, bro. He looks <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, I know. He still looks fuck? young. He's like 50-something, isn't he? Yeah, he's in his 50s. Oh! <laughs> the Packer! I felt that. The Sounds like dodgeball. This is... Is this... Is this... Is this the... Is this the... The... the Fuck attic <laughs> version of Dodgeball? What is he? No, like, pause real quick. On, uh, on, uh, <laughs> did you hear what he said? <laughs> on Step Brothers? Where he's like, my best friend's been out flaked. He's all, oh, is this the plot to, is this the plot to, <laughs> is this the plot is, to Goodwill Hunting? Is this the plot to, uh, Dodgeball? Because it seems, <laughs> um, it's like Dodgeball slash, uh, Bad News Bears. Everyone loves the bi- baseball. Dude. Everyone loves the Sam baseball, Lott? yeah. Sandlot Sam Lott did it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look, that's a great movie. Whoever came up with that movie is a fucking genius. With the Sandlot. Oh, dude. That's that movie's so good. Based on true story, right? I saw the fucking clips at the end. It's fucking. <laughs> he steals fucking home, bro. <laughs> Benny the Jet? Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Sweet creams. Isn't it crazy how Johnny Knoxville was a fucking stunt person and look at him now, dude, he's an actor and shit. That's crazy. And he does his own stunts. Bobby Lee. Theo Vaughn. Jay Moore. Oh, damn. Kate Upton and Jay Moore. Jay Moore has been around in a minute. Dude, exactly what I was about to say. All the funny shit, and that was Bobby Lee. Yeah, it was. It wasn't it. Not? They showed all the funny stuff. It's Bobby. Bobby, Bobby Lee's funny. He's talking about. He's like, Did you watch? Uh, he the ball. He said, "What do you say? Look like rice puffs." Yeah, no. He says, "Uh, I imagine them being rice balls." <laughs> but uh, do you see the Ricky Stenicky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you watch it? I haven't seen it. Oh, it's pretty. good. Is it funny? It's 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 it's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Where he pees his pants off, it's just piss. Yeah. So don't worry, it's just piss. It, dude, you don't understand. Like, there's <laughs> John Cena's good, huh? Dude, John he's Cena. Funny. I, I hate to admit it, but he's really funny. You you saw him in Blockers, right? Cock Blockers? Have you never yeah, 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 with the mom, right? Yeah, it's with, yeah the moms. With, with the moms and the, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen Cock Blockers. Yeah. He's funny, fucker. <laughs> he is funny. He's not afraid to make fun of himself. No. And the biggest thing about improv is like, it's it's yes and, right? Like, so someone does something and it's like, yes. Like, you agree and you do something else like outrageous or something else crazy, yeah, crazier, yeah. you know? Uh, I was watching a thing on Rob Riggle where he does it in Step Brothers. How he just improv the pows. Pows. Like, Pam! Yeah. Are you how he just improv that? He's saying... like, he just had to go one harder. He's like, eat that shit like Kobayashi. Like, <sighs> you know, it's just fucking, I think the best movies to me, in like, in my mind, I have a fucking project where it's like, it's like a quarter, a third mockumentary, a third like documentary of like comedy uh-huh. and like stand up every day. Like, like, uh, my like, journey, like my, what a comic goes through pretty much. Yeah. Like my journey through stand up. Yeah. 
in like legit what's going on in my life, but like in a mockumentary type way, like where I'm super silly and like yeah. other people that come up are like serious or silly just depending on who they are. Yeah. And then like a third, like like I guess the other third's like vlog style, like it's like it's like vlog, mockumentary, documentary, Seinfeld or some shit. Because yeah. I like how Seinfeld. My favorite thing about Seinfeld when being a kid is like it reeling me in is when he tells the jokes at the beginning when it's oh, starting oh, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all it has the little da 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 you know the little music and then it, and he's like a car wash. When do we do a car wash? You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just like that shit. And then it ends with that also with him like doing some stand up set about the show or whatever. At least the early seasons were really like that. So like my thing is like I, I want to combine all of those into something. And I'm working on something, but it's just oh, no shit, it's just when it happens, you know? I thought about this podcast for 10 years before. We talked about it at least seven times over eight yeah, years. And then that one day, <laughs> you're just like, let's do it. I was like, oh, nah, that's, a, that's the thing that, you know what I mean? I was like, come over, let's go. Yeah. And that's my thing with that thing, too. I'm like... And look at us now. We're live on Twitch. Like, when we first started, there's no way we would have thought we could go live on Twitch and everything else, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy that, like... We have our setup now. It's still a little ghetto, but we're getting there. You know what I mean? It's, not, it's starting to be a it lot better. Legit, though. Anyone yeah. that, anyone that, everyone that comes in is like, wow, this looks legit. This looks like, way more legit on camera. Like, yeah. Everyone thinks that. We're just like, there's just like one camera. Everyone's like, like, thinks this is like a legit ass camera and like everything is like super legit in here. And they walk yeah. in, they're like, oh, fuck, you got wires everywhere and yeah. shit. <laughs> we'll get some fucking. We're doing the best we can. Yeah. We're doing the best we well, can. Well, we have a producer that can have the fucking computer behind the fucking bar at the table. And they can be telling us what people yeah. are saying and. Yeah. If not, always produce. And then we just have topics. Me and Calvin come up with our own topics too, so it's not like you we know feel, what I mean? and most of the time they're like, "How do you come up with your?" Pro-? We've done better the last few weeks. Yeah, yeah. most of the time we just freestyle. We were freestyle on the day. Yeah, freestyle, and it was it worked out. We were talking about alpha meat. Dude, the alpha meat went for a minute. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even. Uh, it's like thirty minutes. How did we get meat. there? I don't even know how we got to alpha meat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, Calvin's new nickname, elephant. <laughs> elephant meat. Calvin, elephant meat, come on out. <laughs> Mr. Elephant. This meat. should be a joke. Yeah. That should be a joke. Somehow, you got to figure out. Like, what's the most? You have some crowd work. Most most exotic meat that you've eaten. Uh, I lost a lot of weight recently, over 100 pounds. Uh, thank you. It was one hell of a circumcision. Uh, they used to call me elephant meat. Not anymore. <laughs> so now they call me elephant skin. <laughs> no, now they call me. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that? Um, it has a snout too. The ant eater, but the other word for it, Ardvark. <laughs> now they call me Ardvark. <laughs> now they call me Mr. Ardvark. <laughs> Mr. Ardvark. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is because not a lot of people get it, but the people who get it, that's why it's funny. Or people look up at Ardvark and they're just like, oh, God. Now they call me Little Ardvark. <laughs> <laughs> That's my rap, that's my rap name, the little Ardvark. <laughs> you used to call me Elephant Man, I'm a little Ardvark. <laughs> elephant Meat. <laughs> elephant Man. <laughs> you used to call me Elephant Nose. <laughs> no, they call me Little Ardvark. <laughs> oh, God. A little anteater. I had a circumcision joke, and I, was, I haven't told it in a while, but I used to say that, um, that whole circumcision thing, and then the, yeah. um, I'm trying to grow it back, though. If anyone's interested, I, I'm, I'll be handing out pamphlets in the back. <laughs> so I, stand. I haven't told a joke like in a year. <laughs> At least. Oh, God. The best jokes? Oh, I have a couple guys signing petitions, you know what I mean, to get our skin back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I can go downtown with the skit with that. Skin back. <laughs> skin back? Oh god! You know the dudes like prove me wrong. The like little tables like yeah. prove me wrong. It's like a skin back petition. I want my skin back. Let's say I want my skin back, and it's like anti circumcision. <laughs> Sign up now. I think my mom still has my skin. Does she? Yeah. Your circumcision skin? Yeah. Your foreskin? Yes. You think it still fits? No. <laughs> no. You to, yeah, you have to soak it in water. Rehydrate. <laughs> Dehydrated. I've heard of people keeping the umbilical cord, but uh, it might be my umbilical cord. I don't know. It's I hope big. it's your umbilical cord. It was pretty big. Skin. My umbilical cord was pretty big then. She's like, you guys are not using his foreskin for makeup. <laughs> He's stupid. She's like, 
So this is it's not going on someone's eyes. <laughs> well, most said I used to play with myself all the fucking time. Dude, just Carter's, my penis. Carter's been crazy lately. Really? Yeah, it's all over his wiener. Kelly's like, oh my god. <laughs> Give himself a little stiffy. <laughs> I'm like, quit. Get you, himself all worked up. Yeah, or it's what? hard. You're touching it too much. Yeah. Shake it more than twice. You're playing with it. I told him. He don't. He don't listen. I'm peeing like in the toilet, and he'll just run up and just fuck in like you, dude. He's just like you. He just runs up next to me, and just starts peeing. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Give me some time. <laughs> He's on my beat, you dad. I'm like, I'm sure. I have a slow stream. Oh, God. There's sometimes where I had to, where when Eason was little, when I had to take him to the bathroom, and I'd be like, fuck, I got to pee too. Scoot the fuck over. Like, I, I have to pee. Like, I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> He's on a splash! Splash! <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking shit, dude. I've done that before. I'm peeing. I'm like, Carter, you better fuck. I'm trying not to splash, but I'm trying to fucking try and go low key on the side. Silencer. Oh, he's like, Dad, Dad. Silencer. It's all shh. Gets the wrong one. It fucking loops up. <laughs> he's all shh. Just kidding. I'm not R. Kelly. I'm not R. Kelly. You know Drake? Drake pees on people? No. Oh. Drake pees on people. <laughs> oh, you see that? Heard it here with, first. You see the whole thing with Bruno Mars? He's like fifty million dollars in debt in Vegas to Vegas for betting. Oh, really? Yeah. I was thinking, uh, oh, like cocaine. Yeah, and they said that like pretty much all his shows that he does are like he's paying just paying Vegas back. He doesn't make no money off of. Them. Just work out for free because he owes so much. Fifty mil, bro. That's crazy. That he owes the casino. He needs to put out some music. <sighs> he's gonna come out the album, album in a fucking world tour. You know people are because he he does he does the what's it called there in Vegas residency sh- yeah residency really? in Vegas yeah yeah that's a pretty dope person I feel like he'd put on a good show yeah but the 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 contract he signed was only ninety mil so ninety and he owes fifty for where I don't remember where the fuck it's at you know how long I have no idea I didn't look it up I just saw it on TikTok just like he's like in really bad debt and that'd be dope uh, I mean that's still cool though. And Britney Spears, what? She wasn't doing any because her parents, or like her dad was getting all the money from her residency. Yeah. So she was like not doing anymore. Leave Britney alone. That's what they say, but I haven't seen anything Isn't about that her crazy? since. crazy? Like, that was like one of the most viral videos of before, like, leave Britney alone! You remember that video? Mm. Um, you don't remember that video? Mm. Look up, leave Britney alone. That's probably like the number one, that was like the first YouTube video that ever went viral. I uh, I was shaving my head in the in the um, shower, like just buzzing it. The first time I buzzed it, and I was naked in the shower, just buzzing it, and I was like, "Did you cry? Do you have a tear?" No, I was like, "I'm Britney, bitch." Just fucking. I had the music went on. You're dun, toxic. Dun, 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 dun. It's Britney, bitch. Leave Britney alone. Do you remember these videos? You don't remember any of these coming? Mm-mm. That one right there. Is this a banger, this song? Wait, what was the college one back in the day? Done the commercial. The, 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 with Lil Romeo. <laughs> the college video with Lil Romeo. It was like a commercial? Yeah. With Little Romeo? Yeah, a little college video for Little Romeo. Well, watch this first. Leave Britney alone! Please! You don't remember that video? Is that a lady? No, it's a dude. No, I was like, she fooled me. <laughs> I don't remember those. I never saw those. What? Oh, I dude. thought you were talking about when she like steps in and like her like little... Underdress shows when she gets in the car. Oh, the, everyone's uh, losing it. When her uh, roast beef is hanging out. Yeah, they said she was. She did it on purpose. I only saw the blurred photos. Um, <clears throat> Little Romeo. I see DC College. It I, is! I see DC College! I have never ah, seen this. I'm so happy I remembered the right thing. I have never seen this. Let's go, baby. Hi, I'm Romeo Miller. 
My parents always told me how important the education was. That's why I went to college. And the education sticks with you and keeps you on top. ICDC College will set you on the right track towards earning your degree in careers like Homeland Security, Medical Assistant, Crime Scene Investigation, and Addiction Counseling. In today's world, you gotta take command of your future. At ICDC College, you'll get resources like financial aid and your own computer to Remember help his, you uh, Nickelodeon your goals. Your future what was it is waiting. It's your time it to go Romeo? to college. So call ICDC College little, and change your life little Romeo? today. It's happening over at ICDC College. This is your future. Don't waste it. It's up to you to make a move. Roll on up to ICDC College. I say ICDC. Call it ICDC College. I say ICDC. I'm so ICDC College. I have never seen this. <laughs> you, remember, you must have been watching B BET a lot, huh? No, VH1. VH1. <laughs> Wait, let me get the good one. There's a good one, man. DC College. I say ICDC. Nah, man. There's a better one. It's like ICDC College. ICDC College. It's her. It's for sure it's her. You don't remember this? Oh, I, yeah, now I remember this. I'm going for it. Dude, I swear Romy used to pop in right there. I see DC college. <laughs> he doesn't pop up in this one, but I swear he did. I'm VH1 version. The VH1 version. <laughs> he comes in. I see DC college. I didn't have no job. I remember watching that. I ain't got no job. <laughs> no future. No hopes. No dreams. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get 40 bucks so I can get wasted on the weekend. <laughs> I see DC College. When I say I see, you say DC. I see. DC. I see. DC. All right. We just lost a viewer because of that, I think. Whoever's uh, been here, you know, we appreciate you. Thick and thin, through and through, we appreciate you. I think we need to fix that camera, too. Nah. It's, it's like right. dark. <clears throat> I guess it doesn't look that dark on here, though. No, we look good. It doesn't look that fucked up. All right. Episode 60 in the books. Another one. Another one. We'll be having some more guests come up soon. Hopefully this summer we can get some more comedy and stuff. And uh, might have a. Uh, we might be going tour a little bit. You know what I mean? Ooh yeah, we're trying to find a bar. Shout out local bars. We're trying to do a podcast. Uh, I think I have one. Ooh, okay. Melinda's friends. They own a bar. Ooh. Origin. Do they have a stage? Uh, they might actually. Or can do. we sit on the tables? Yes, it's a Bengals bar. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, exactly. And I told Willie that we might be able to do it there. Ooh! That'd be a perfect place. Let him know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be cool. Have people up. We just need like uh, 12 eccentric words. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can have this guy. We'll be all right. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> That's our next step. That's crazy that that battery's last though. Yeah. On that camera? Like our, our Twitch battery? Yeah. It's all, we could just, li we're good live. Yeah. You know that. Oh, because it plugs in so it doesn't matter. So it doesn't die. Yeah. So, so we're, we're good. We're good live though. There. Make sure they have an outlet for that way. Yeah, 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 I got you. And we'll get with the plug-in battery. Mm -hmm. We'll bring a generator. <laughs> just have cords running through the whole. Be like, can we, bring, can we just roll the generator? <laughs> I have a generator. Yeah, we'll roll that bitch in. <laughs> it's all loud. Oh god. Dude, should I put this behind the bar? <laughs> all, right. all right. Two See guys in the shed. Two guys in the shed. Closing it out. Episode 60. I always do the wrong camera, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why would you do it? <laughs> I gotta pee.